Hey everyone, it's Liz. And if you love being outdoors, Lake Las Vegas has something for everybody. Um, after it's named, there is a lake, Lake Las Vegas. However, this video today is not about any of the water sports that are available. That will be for another time, another video, when it's a little warmer out. However, today's video is about the walking, the hiking, and the biking that you can do in the Lake Las Vegas area. I mean, you can make it as long or as short as you want. Um, you can walk around the Lake Las Vegas community itself on its numerous different sidewalks and pathways um, through the community, through the village, get a good walk going, or you can hop on any of the hiking trails right outside of the community. Um, as soon as you leave Lake Las Vegas on Galleria Parkway, um, there are hikes and trails there that are part of the wetlands trail system. Um, again, you can make it as short of a hike or as long of a hike as you want if you want to spend all day doing it. Believe me, there are enough trails for you to do that. Um, as well as bike paths too. There are designated um, paved bike paths. Um, again, you can go for miles and miles and combine bike paths and connect on to this one and that one. So really, there is so much for you to do. And this video today is just going to touch on some of those things. I, of course, I can't show you everything. Um, but let's go down into the village. And the first thing I want to show you is that if you don't have a bike and you would like to ride one, there are places where you can rent them. There's a place right off of uh, Lake Mead Parkway outside of the community where you can rent bikes. Whether they're e-bikes or regular road bikes, I'm not sure. Um, however, within the village itself, there is a new sh uh, store or, or pop-up shop. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but they're going to be offering e-bikes. They're not open yet, and whether or not they're going to be seasonal or not, I'm not sure. Um, not sure if it is just a pop-up shop where they'll be offering them in the spring and the summer, but I'm gonna drive by there take a look at that shop and also I believe the Weston might offer e-bikes um, obviously it would be for any guests that are there not sure if they rent to anyone just walking in off the street that's not staying there but it's all always worth a call to find out but um, okay let's get started so as you can see within the community itself I mean there are just miles and miles of sidewalks that you can walk on. Tons of people walk their dogs every day, especially on the weekends. And they have pretty well-marked bike paths. Um, they just recently redid the lines a couple of months ago. So you can see them pretty good now. Vegas area and you just happen to be visiting and checking it out and you want to go for a nice walk there's an area on the side of the Hilton which is really nice it takes you in between the Hilton and the lake and then leads you right into the village and I'll show you how we're gonna get there so here to my right is the Hilton and if you go past the Hilton you'll see there's like this cobblestone looking sidewalk. That's where we're going to go to take our really nice little walk, although I'm on a bike. So all you do is just follow this little cobblestone looking pathway along the side of the Hilton and between the lake. It's a really nice walk.
so quiet and nice through here. And this path takes you underneath the bridge. And there's the lake. <laughs> Here we are in the village, and I will show you the shop that is going to be renting out the e-bikes. Electric Bikes, Lake Las Vegas, but it's coming soon. So we get to go through here twice. Now I wouldn't say that this is particularly meant to be a bike path. I don't think it is. I am not sure. I feel like I'm harassing these poor pedestrians, but I did just want to give you a tour of a really nice walking area. Okay, right up here is the corner of Lake Las Vegas Parkway and Galleria. So to exit out of the community and go towards the trails, you make a right onto Galleria. And it is literally just a couple minutes away. On the right hand side here is a fire station. Okay, and this is one of the first parks that we come to, right outside of Lake Las Vegas, but still in the city of Henderson, Terraza Park, Terraza Park. Here's a map with a wetlands connector, trail map and rules. Right in front of the restroom, decent restroom area. Okay, here's the park. It's a nice place for families to hang out at, although there's not a traditional playground here, so to speak. There are some interesting structures uh, which keep the kids a little busy, at least for a few minutes anyways. So we are leaving Terraza Park. It's a fairly small park, but it is nice, well-maintained, clean. And now we are on a paved trail, which bicyclists are allowed on. And this is part of the Wetlands Park trail system. In fact, this is the very end of it. There's this pretty cool bridge that goes over the Las Vegas wash. We're gonna cross over this right now.
I'll stop and um, take a video here of the wash system. And then the wash continues down that way towards Lake Las Vegas. And you can see the rooms of the Hilton over there. All right, so we're gonna continue on this trail. We're not gonna take it to the end, but I do just wanna show you part of the trail and some of the really pretty scenery. All right, so as soon as we cross the bridge, we come up to this sign. So if we keep going for another six miles, we will end up at the Sunrise Trailhead. And then of course, we just crossed the bridge, which is called the Powerline Weir Bridge. And check this out. Sorry. This is why they call it the Powerline Bridge. as I'm standing here in the way. There's some hikers coming out of the woods there. And honestly, I probably should not have stopped because for me to try to uh, get on my bike and ride up this hill from a complete stop, <laughs> sorry, it is not happening. Huh, I'm sure I look like a complete dork right now. Now just imagine if you lived at Lake Las Vegas, all of this beautiful nature and the ability to have a really nice relaxing outdoor experience is just a couple of miles from your community. Now to the left is the Las Vegas wash. And I'm going to pull over here so we can take a look at this. So if you can see, the water is flowing down here in this direction. This is the wetlands and the water continues to flow all the way down towards Lake Las Vegas. It actually does not flow into Lake Las Vegas. It gets diverted into two large pipes that flow underneath Lake Las Vegas and all of this water gets diverted directly into Lake Mead. This road over here, where you can see um, cars driving by, this is Galleria Drive, where that car is right there. And behind us is another entrance to one of the hiking trails. In fact, there's some people walking up there right now. but that'll take you to the top of some nice peaks. Not too terribly high. It is pretty rocky as you go along. Um, I used a couple of hiking sticks the last time I went up here, but that is very, very beautiful as well. So 
So I'm not going to continue all the way down because this path will take us um, to another trailhead, which there was a sign for earlier, but I'm going to turn around and take us along the other side and we will stop at the closest trailhead to Lake Las Vegas in the wetlands trail system, which is called Wells Trailhead. And it's located about a mile-ish from Lake Las Vegas. Don't quote me on the exact distance there, but I will drive us over there right now. Here we are back at the Powerline Weir Bridge. So we're crossing over the water. All right, now to get to the bridge, um, we originally came from the left-hand direction here, but I'm going to turn right, let this person pass us. Hi. And we're going to continue on this wetlands paved bike path. Because I want to take you to the Wales Trailhead and a really great spot to see Las Vegas. There are some areas on the right where you could actually walk along the river or uh, the wash. Looks like there's a lot of cars at the trailhead today. Here's a sign for the entrance into the Wells Trailhead. Hours from dusk to dawn. You can see some steps here that you can take up to this bench. Um, and you can see the entire Las Vegas Strip and Vegas Valley area from up there. At night, it gets really, really beautiful. All right, so the bench that I pointed out earlier is actually up here on the top of this little hill. Um, but you can look straight across and see the entire strip over there. And even further beyond that are some snow-capped mountains. And along here, you can see more of the gravel trail that you can walk or hike on. And again, there is the water for the Las Vegas wash. All right, so let's keep going because I have some more stuff to show you around here. All right, so coming up on my right is going to be the Wetlands Connector Trail. And I'm going to take this, it's gonna take us underneath Galleria Drive and then take us up to Mountain Lake Park, which is right off of Lake Mead Parkway. Warning, do not enter desert wash area when water is flowing or there is a threat of storms. So again, this is a connector trail which will take you from the wetlands trail up to one of the parks that are up here off of Lake Mead Parkway. Galleria Parkway is to my right and we are winding our way over towards Lake Mead Parkway. This connector trail isn't that long. Maybe a mile and a half or so, if I had to guess. I do know that this path is definitely older <laughs> than the uh, wetlands paved trails. Or maybe those are just better maintained, but this one is a little bumpy and looks a little rough compared to the one that I was just riding on. But there are no potholes and it's still intact. 
So that's a good thing. And I actually bypassed the park that I wanted to take us to. Dang it. It's over there. Uh, all right. It's just a short little bike ride there. So I'll take the other way. Here is the map entrance. So this little jaunt that I took us on when I made the hard right hand turn is called Lake Mead Parkway Trail. The Wetlands Connector Trail took us up to Lake Mead Parkway Trail. And right now we are at Mountain Lake Park, which is right where that star is. And there's Lake Mead Parkway. Way over there in the distance is where we were on the Wetlands Trail Park system. And now I'm just gonna take us on a quick drive around Mountain Lake Park. Ooh. I'll just go ahead and take a seat on the back of this uh, horny toad or horned lizard, whatever you call it. I am very bad at identifying animals by their proper names. It's very cute though. Okay, so this is Mountain Lake Park. Now, this also does not have traditional playground equipment for your children, but they get to play on these cement reproductions of these really cool animals. I mean, look at this. I didn't have something like this to play on when I was a kid. This is awesome. And it's huge. And it's shaded. Huh, I don't know what that is. I wonder if some kind of mist comes out of it in the summertime. Don't know if they would be that fancy here. There's a shaded area with some picnic tables. Some more shaded areas. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Look at this. A lot of shade. There's a restroom there. There's places to sit. Oh, look at this thing. Although, I don't know. Kids might try to use this as a slide. I'm not sure how safe that would be because you know they're gonna do it. There's the power lines making some snap, crackle, and pop noises. And I'm the only one here right now, which is good because I don't want my bike to get stolen. Oh, look at this. Creatures past and present, look around. Perhaps a horned toad. I think I incorrectly called it a horny toad. Um, desert iguana, Gila monster. Can you find these fossils left behind? A snail, mammoth tusk, trilobite. What a great little park area. Even for adults. I'm gonna come hang out here again. I mean, this is really nice. All right, on our way. And now we are going to go back on to Lake Mead Parkway towards Lake Las Vegas and past it to Lake Mead. So now we're back on Lake Mead Trail Parkway heading towards the entrance of Lake Las Vegas. And off to the left, that's where I came from, which is the Wetlands Connector Trail. So we're gonna make a right 
and continue going. And now we can see Lake Las Vegas from here. And right now we are coming up to the entrance of Lake Las Vegas. So now we're at the entrance of Lake Las Vegas. So we're going to continue on the Lake Mead Parkway Trail, heading towards Lake Mead. Ooh, a little lizard. I thought I was gonna run over him, but he turned around. I mean, as you can see, there are lots of hiking trails, bike paths, walking areas, parks, things to do in the Lake Las Vegas area that are just practically right outside your door, right outside of the community. And it's not overly crowded, it's peaceful, but you're not completely secluded. You'll pass other people on the trail, which is good. You know, I mean, unless you want to be in an area that's completely desolate and isolated. Now across the street to my right is an area, or it's a business called River Mountain Bicycle Shop. They do rent bicycles there if you don't have your own and you want to come to this area and check out all of these trails. This is a uh, lighted bike path at night. So if you're someone who likes to ride after the sun sets, a good majority of this trail, well, specifically the Lake Mead Trail, is lit. Also, off to my right here, on the other side of Lake Mead Parkway, is the entrance to something called the Wheel of Misfortune. I have never been there, but it's something that if you Google it, um, you'll be able to get a much better view, especially an aerial view, of what is over there. It used to be an old mining area um, that's been closed down, and there are a lot of artists that have gone in there and um, <sighs> decorated it, if that's what you'd like to call it, um, with various forms of graffiti. I mean, some of it's actually really awesome looking. It's cool. Um, but you should go ahead and Google it and see if that is something that you would like to see if you're coming out this way or if you live nearby here. I didn't learn about it until recently. And um, I thought, wow, you know, some of that stuff is really cool. I mean, there's a message behind it about life or at least the artist's interpretation of life, but it's not something that I would want to go view on my own. I'd have to go with a friend. I think I'd feel more comfortable, but check it out. I believe the name is Wheel of Misfortune. Another tunnel to go through. <laughs> this one again is taking us underneath Lake Mead Parkway. And this is part of the River Mountain Loop Trail. There's a bike repair workstation. Again, another nice area to walk, bike, hike. I do have a bell. I guess I should use it, right? So straight ahead is a trail and to the left is the trailhead. I am gonna go left to the trailhead. Okay, and this is the River Mountains Loop Trailhead. And from Lake Mead Parkway, the River Mountain Loop Trail is the last free trailhead you can access. Um, because if you were to keep going, over about right here um, is the area where you would stop and you would have to pay an entrance to get into the Lake Mead National Recreation Area. 
I need to get back over to Lake Las Vegas and I am going to get back onto the trail. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video and allowing me to uh, burn probably close to a thousand calories on this sunny Sunday afternoon. <laughs> If you found anything interesting about this video at all, please go ahead and hit the like button um, or even share it with somebody. If you think someone else might be interested in seeing things to do around Lake Las Vegas regarding hiking trails, walking, bike paths, there's so much more to show you. Um, but really the best thing to do is just come out here and experience it for yourself. And also while you're at it, go ahead, hit the subscribe button that way you'll be notified every time I publish a new video about Lake Las Vegas, Henderson, regular Las Vegas, Boulder City, things to do. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button for me because I am now pedaling uphill and I'm getting very out of breath. Thanks again for joining me, you guys, and I will see you again soon. This is an e-bike. I thought it was supposed to be easier than this. <laughs>